Hey guys, quick video on how to bypass um, adding a uh, account to your Windows computer during setup. So this is for, you know, when you're ready to, to move on from your laptop and get another one um, and you want to be able to demo or show the specs without having your information logged in. Um, so this is a real simple video on how to bypass your uh, Windows security or how to just go through without actually adding an account. So this is just the, the basic setup here. You can connect to a network of yours. Okay, so once you're connected, just go ahead and skip through. So this is going to take us to a screen where it's asking for your Microsoft login information and I'm going to give you some coding that will help you bypass that in a second here. So let's just get to the screen that shows what we need it to just so you can see that um, Okay, I'll be right back with you while <laughs> Once the updates are finished. Okay, so we're back on here. Just computers doing the updates uh, for name. You can just put admin or skip for now. And then you can choose set up for personal or work or school, whichever you want. Okay, so this is where um, we're going to add some coding in here. So what we're gonna do is, depending on your computer, um, if it's just a, a basic, like a Dell or an HP, you can just do Shift and F10. Um, I'm on a Lenovo, so that requires Shift function F10. And then you get the, um, the pop-up here. Okay, so go ahead and click on it so you can actually type. And then the first command is going to be O-O-B-E. And you want to do a backslash, capital B, bypass, N-R-O. And go ahead and hit enter. That's going to reboot your computer again. Be right back with you after the reboot. Okay, so we're finally about to reboot here. And let's just go through the setup process again to where it asks us for a name. Uh, so skip the keyboard layout. You can configure all this stuff again um, after you've set up. Okay, so let's open our command line again which on this Lenovo is shift function F10. Most other computers you can just do shift and F10. And now we're gonna type in IP config with a space and then this time a forward slash and then the word release. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna release our, um, release our network that we signed onto 
and we're going to be able to bypass so after you see media disconnected that's what we're looking for so now we can just again admin All right, so now this did not work this time. Let's try this again. So do shift function of 10. Little B E backslash bypass and R O. I'm glad that happened to me this time because, um, very rare that you don't get a successful result, just do it again. That's all we're gonna do. So I'm not gonna pause the, the video this time so we can cover all the steps again here. Okay, so we're just going to skip through the process here again to where we need to name the computer. Okay, we'll skip that. Okay, so now what we'll do is go back into shift function F10. And let's just do our IP config again. So IP config space forward slash release. And just hit enter. Okay. And you can just type in whatever you want there. So this time it looks like it went through. Oh. So let's just say hi. And we'll skip a password. And you can just kind of set up as, uh, as usual. So as you can see, sometimes the first time it doesn't go through, just repeat the process and good to go. Uh, let's see, not now. But this is how you bypass the Microsoft account login on Windows 11 Pro. Um, hope, help, hope it helps guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.